The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. I can't even talk. Alongside me, as usual, I have two, well, one excellent stand-up comedian. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yes, sir. Why am I here? I don't know. What is so fucking important I had to be here for? I, I mean, you kind of you kind of carry this uh, this thing we call a podcast. Well, you're goddamn right I do, but yeah. I, I would just as soon not have to. Yeah, that's okay. I wish Derek would show up. I could sure <laughs> use a week off. <laughs> two. He's had two weeks off. I know. And, and I wish he would come back because it's my fucking turn <laughs> to take a week off. That's right. And also... Still the, refusing to do shows together. Yeah. <laughs> and also, he is the funniest member of my family, my uh, stepbrother... Fred. Hey, hey, we're back. Sl- I'm back. Sl- slash, filling in. Slash Clayton, one of the two. He answers to both. But, uh, but yeah, we've got uh, a lot of shit that happened over this last week in the sports world, I guess, uh, that we got that we can talk about. Uh, we've got another great segment this week. Um, or no, actually, first of all, this, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, it is also an adult podcast where we like to uh, use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, we've got uh, sports news. We've got uh, would you ra- or would you rather? Oh uh, no, that's the shitty situation at the very end. I can't think today, Jeremy. No shit. Are Help you okay? me out. Ever? No, no. I do you need like, me to take over and host? I think you should. I think you should. I don't want to. I don't want my <laughs> fucking name associated with <laughs> right. this fucking mess. <laughs> right. Not after you shit the room. That's Jesus right. Christ. No, uh, would you do it for ten k? Real shit or horse shit? Overrated or underrated? And we also have another bad advice. Questions, preguntas, a draft, and is always a shitty situation. You know what? We don't <sighs> even need to run all that down with them. You get what you fucking get, That's right. fuckers. Right. That's right. If we give it to you, you get it. If you don't, tough shit. That's right. That's right. Uh, but before we kick off this bad boy, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last couple of weeks for Fred, and then uh, what happened for me and Jeremy over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. Uh, let's start it off, Fred. Oh, me? Got, I'm up. All yeah, right, shit, up, man. Well, I'm back again. Thanks again for having me, everybody. Hell yeah. I, I hope, Thank you. I hope the listeners like some of the stuff I say. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't. They, they don't. Look, I just make they, shit they up. They do not. I can tell you for a fact they do not. <laughs> You're losing. I I know of one person who has listened to this show. That being me, they do not care for what you have to say. <laughs> See, I knew there were people at out there that did all. it. So fuck them. Oh, yeah, well. that's right. Uh, but hell, it's been two weeks since I've been here. So I went to Disney and back. Um, had a blast. As oh always. yeah. Um, Is August Disney any better than July Disney? September. Oh, you went in September. That's right. What what month is it? <laughs> you're, you're, you're we're catching September. up now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome no. to the show. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I thought it was me being the God dumb one. Damn, come back, Derek. <laughs> we need I you. really need a week <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was Disney in uh, in September. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Much better, much cooler. Um the highs were like eighty eight to ninety yeah. the whole week. How was and, it in August? Uh hundred and five. All right. Oh, yeah. This is July. I didn't hit. I didn't make it in August. That's awful. That's hot. way too hot. Way hot. And I mean, we got back just in time, just before hurricane hit. So nice. Nice. I would have wanted to be there. It'd been fun, but you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, we chase tornadoes, so why not chase freaking? That's correct. It, the thing is, is it's not 
uh, that the wind is blowing. It's what the wind is blowing. That would be yeah, from Ron a White. a lot more blowing. Yeah, there. yeah that's right. So, uh, yeah, kudos to Ron White for that, that that line. I like it. That's a good one. Yeah. Did you ride any new rides or do anything cool this time that you didn't do last time? Did you get them teacups? Yeah, did you get them teacups? No, they were. that's the biggest line ever. <laughs> really? That was the ever. one thing. They closed it early for the hurricane. Yeah, they did. <laughs> no, uh, this is... Uh, they finally brought back Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Okay. That's a mouthful. Mm. It's been gone for mm. two, three years because of COVID. Mm. Um, so they, certain nights, they shut the, shop, shut the park at 7. And mm-hmm. It's a different ticket. You enter at 7. And there's trick-or-treating. There's the villain characters are out. So oh. you get pictures with the villains. Um, Jack Skellington, oh, Jafar. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of them. And then they do a different fireworks show. And they mm. had... The who were the three witches? Hocus Pocus, the Sanders oh, and yeah, sisters. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They had a big performance of singing and stuff, and then a massive parade. So with a tropical storm coming, there was it wasn't windy. No, because I know in nope. California, if it's at all blowing, they will not do the fireworks show. <laughs> well, they're really? all scared at all. Wow, yeah, that California does have a tendency to just spontaneously That's combust true. anyway. That's true. That's, that and is true. In fact, there were forest fires going on. Just, I believe, to the north of L.A. when last time that I was there. Wow. I believe so. it. They're always on fire, though. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, just, that's that's why you go to Florida. Go to yeah. Florida. Don't go to How's California. How's the weather now, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, right. Now, there was one night. We were not at the park, but it rained, so they delayed fireworks for probably an hour. But, yeah. you know, they, they buy them because they shoot fireworks every night. So yeah. they're not going to postpone. A lot of black cats, jumping jacks. Exactly. Like yeah. 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 Whistling bung <laughs> Sparklers. <laughs> who's could do's, who's could don'ts. Yeah. Sweet. So. Oh, yeah. And that's about it. I got back uh, last week. A girlfriend got back five, six days later. She was there for work and then had my daughter this weekend and just hung out. Yeah. So. What if it was just everybody gathered on Main Street USA and some dickhead with a punk is just like <laughs> running, yeah. and <laughs> running away? I'd probably still go. Yeah, I would too. I mean, Fuck yeah. Fuck just, yeah. Just to see if he trips. Exactly. Yeah. Or either that or just help him and like throw M80s at motherfuckers. That's yeah. always fun. Yeah. The snap pops at him. I, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, guess, I guess I'll go with my week. I didn't do a hell of a lot. I really didn't. I think the, the nicest thing about this last week was that it finally dropped below like 90 degrees. It was like mm-hmm. 70. And so For I opened the day. whole house up. For the very first fucking time, it was absolutely gorgeous, and uh, loved that. And then when then everyone, Kansas went, fuck you, <laughs> yeah, yep, right it's, back to it, right back, back to, to it. ninety. Yeah, that's right. It, it and sucks. humid. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Uh, but uh, just the other night, uh, we got to hang out with Fred. Uh, once they got back in town, we went over to uh, to their house and, and finished the most recent episode of Game of Thrones, House of Dragons, House of Dragons, or whatever I you want to call it. I have not watched. Uh, the one from Sunday. Okay. Do you want to know not, who dies? Y- yeah, you want to know, you wanna know who gets Was killed? there titties? <laughs> no. no. But, but, oh, here's the thing. So that's who died, titties. Yeah, titties, titties died. They, yeah, titties they haven't, died. they have not been back uh, at all. That but sense, the good thing, though, is, is that now it's the older uh, Rhaenyra. So may, titties may actually come into play yeah. because it's no so longer the younger. time adult. skip? Yes. They did. Yeah, big, huge time jump. Huh. I and I liked the younger the younger um, Rhaenyra. I I, uh, I have a, a lot more hatred for the the older one. So, um, but we did that. I knocked out the the Rings of Power episode as well. God, I'm a fucking nerd. I watched uh, that. Yeah, I, mean, it. I fucking love that. Still show. no rings. <laughs> Still no <laughs> fucking rings. Or power. Um, yeah, but other than that, man. Well, there's I, some power. Yeah, the, yeah. That, Should have seen the oh. fucking erection I had. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but other than that, man, watched a lot of football. I am uh, currently on pace to win my uh, fantasy football game as the highest scoring team over the last week. So maybe that uh, championship belt's not too far away. Uh, completed a trade. Did you see I got a, I, I, there was a pretty big trade between me and Jared? No. I got I, rid I, of Ezekiel Elliott, and I am so fucking happy about it. Oh, Man, I, it's just too risky with with that well, guy. Well, so. now that that's happened, now what? Now he's going to go off, huh? He, he I, probably I, will. Uh, but anyways, what about you, Jeremy? How was your week? Better than that. Yeah, that. it was <laughs> fucking boring. I really boring. didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> um, last uh, Thursday was my wife's birthday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Happy that's birthday to her. Yeah. 
Uh, I once again got to remind her just how much older she is than me. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, it doesn't change. Yeah, by the way. we uh, we went out. Well, it does because she's like another half a year, so it switches between five and six years. Okay, uh, so she's back up to six. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyways, uh, we we met our our good friend Dan the Man. Yeah, Dan out the for Man for dinner and and his lady friend, mm-hmm. and uh, went to. Fizz Burgers and Bottles. Ooh, that that sounds uh, like it's new and good, is it? Uh, I think it's been around a little bit, but oh. it's way the fuck too far away from our house, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's it, it's up 37th Street North. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, Jesus. Uh, so, yeah, that's not fun. Um, but they got specialty burgers and craft sodas. Oh, uh, nice. And so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I broke my diet for that, that night. East or west side? Just the one. Uh, east. Uh, oh, damn. okay. Did Dan describe every single bite that he was having with this hamburger he would have had my wife shut the fuck up uh, <laughs> i was actually getting a little bit annoyed with her uh dan is not a uh, a very loud spoken man and dan mm-hmm. kind of you know likes to smoke the wacky tobacco he a little sh- sometimes does, yeah. um by that i'm talking weed uh in case you didn't know um and so dan would be in the middle of saying something and my wife can be boisterous at times and would just Interrupt him. Yeah. And Dan will just stop and mm-hmm. be like, I wanted to hear what Dan had to say. I know what you <laughs> had to say. Nothing. Uh, but Dan maybe was interesting because uh, it wasn't, by the way. When Dan did talk, it was about how he saves money shopping for day-old meat and uh, <laughs> yes, shit he's, like that. He's <laughs> he's big into couponing, oh. and he hits the grocery stores really early in the morning, and mm. I'm boring myself just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Love Dan to death, but could yep. have gone my whole life without hearing that. Um, so then uh, I worked all weekend. Uh, Not second fun. Second week in a row. I've It's been over two weeks since I've had a day off. Uh I really, really, really hate the fact that they have decided to change the policy on weekends to where we have to be there at 4 a.m. Ooh. So we can get off at 12.30. Oh. Uh, it's nice getting off at 12.30, but getting up at 3? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm and already so, not a morning person. Yeah, That's I, awful. This morning, I got to sleep till 5, and it felt like noon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just, uh. Oh, that so, sucks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm running a little slow. That's, I didn't even know what fucking month it was. I don't know if you heard that earlier. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Start a new woodworking project, which Uh-oh. maybe not the best thing to do uh, when you're sleep deprived. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, I'm building some display shelves for my wife. Uh, using a hammer? Christmas displays? I, I'm not using. Yeah, though they will <laughs> be displaying Christmas <laughs> ornaments. Yes, and then uh, during the off season. Uh, they won't be. Um, <laughs> she'll have her other bullshit up there, I'm sure. Uh, in fact, uh, the second worst time of the year is coming up. It's Halloween time, which is she's. While it's not as impressive as the Christmas thing, her Halloween shit is still spectacularly <laughs> Could you ridiculous. Grab the other fucking pin. Nope. God damn it! That's the only way I keep myself awake. Um, by the way, have you seen this? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Uh, let's see. What else did I do? Oh, there was something else I was going to say. I guess that shit about the Halloween decorations. They yeah. started going up. So the house is torn up, which is why I have to be out in the fucking garage anyway, because I can't stand being around all that shit. <laughs> She's got the dark tree, too, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, the uh, the dark side tree is coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, it just but it'll up. be a little while till that one actually gets out. She keeps it. Up, all she never actually takes it down. Yeah, but she keeps it in the spare bedroom. Oh, when, so when your guests not e- from, but it it will be out. This marks the beginning, the first fucking tree coming out, <laughs> and it will it will be out till April when she gets all the shit taken down. <laughs> oh, so uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I got uh, I got sealer, aircraft sealer in my fucking beard. Oh really? In my, in my goatee. I had to shave the sides off. I see. I I see it now. (laughs) Uh, Every now and then you'll you'll get some sealer. It comes in these tubes like caulking does, and it you'll get an air bubble in there. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it and I got some for the first time ever in my fucking beard, like a big glob of it. Oh, nice. I mean, I would have been like waxing to pull it out. And. My wife's like, can't you just wash it out with soap and water? <laughs> it's made yes. to hold up to the fucking harsh conditions of the inside of a jet engine. <laughs> Probably not. 
what if I'm a fucking asshole and yeah, soap and water takes it right off? Yeah, that's right. Well, it's too uh, late now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that uh, that was pretty much my week. God, Fucked up we, my beard. We are boring, boring motherfuckers. Do you know that? Well, we're old. Not as old as my wife. That's true. But <laughs> <laughs> old. Happy birthday to her, by the way. Uh huh. Um, but all right, we got some uh, some current events that we've got to get to. But before we do that, we're going to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. I don't know about you, Jeremy, but yeah, my balls are shaven. Are they? Yes, they're shorn. Is that what Sh- the is shorn? It shorn? Yeah. Is that what you got? Okay, with sheep. Yeah, right. Yep. Uh, over the last week, that was something that I decided to do, which is to uh, kind of double up down there and make sure it's all nice and taken care of. And I did that with my lawnmower 4.0. Uh, you hit it twice. I did. Nice. Yeah, double time. You uh, couldn't tell there. you got it all the first time. Huh? No, no. It, uh, here was a couple of stragglers I missed. Oh, so, okay. Uh, but that was because of me, not because of a bad product, obviously. Of course not. No, it's because I'm an idiot. Right. Uh, I've but heard yeah. how you host. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it, it's it's much, much well or better kept down there, and my wife sure does appreciate it, I think. Um, I wouldn't know. If she's never touched your penis. No, never. You nope. Still have yet to consummate that marriage. Nope. nope. Um, but yeah. But yeah, because you know, sex is dirty. Yeah, it is. Uh, and be sure and tell all your kids that. <laughs> yeah, but go to manscaped.com and check out all of the other products that they have on top of the Lawnmower 4.0. They've got the Weed Whacker for your ear hair and nose hair. And mm-hmm. holy shit, it is important. Um, I got myself one of those cameras to look inside my ears uh, to the help fuck clean for? I do not want to know where that is. Oh, fuck for. I've got hair in there. Of course you do. I did not know. Everybody knows Everybody that. Does. I didn't. They I can didn't see think it I through did. your fucking headphones. Okay, you're right. Uh, but yeah, do uh, check manscaped.com out. Uh, any of the products that you buy, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20, uh, 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we do these commercials word for fucking word. And uh, thank you to, to them. You uh, still need to explain why you have a camera. Uh, camera? Okay, yeah, I did. She I, likes I, to I, look inside ears. tiny holes. No, no. I, I, For like the longest time, I, I, I'm I, one of those people who religiously clear, cleans my ears every single morning right after I get out of the shower. Mm-hmm. And uh, like one day, I had like kind of a, a weird, I don't, I don't say sinus headache, but it, there was something that was very irritating. Irritating. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't like get any earwax or anything like that was out. Was it you? You know, it was. Okay. It. Well, I actually had a huge buildup uh, after I got this thing, and it it was very disgusting, and I don't want to talk about it. It's have you, gross. Have you ever seen the videos of them cleaning that? Yes. Yeah. Ear? Oh. Yes. It's actually oddly satisfying. To some people, it is. To others, it's disgusting. I don't understand the pimple popping. I don't it at all. Ugh, that's I have gross. never gotten into that. They made a fucking show. Yes. About yeah. that. Yes. With a Female. fairly hot doctor. Yes. <laughs> and Asian could dis- do without that. Yeah, but absolutely. But still. <laughs> but it's disgusting. It is. Uh, uh, yeah. So so did you get it out? Yes, you I did. To the doctor? No, I didn't. Because that's have actually to kind of satisfying, too. Have you ever had to have them do that? No, I've never had to have them do it because I've never realized I had an issue. And now I'm very, very clean on both, both ears now. I got my whole canal, like, plugged up one time. Yep, that's what happened. And... Uh, they like take it's like a squirt bottle thing with a hose that they do, and they just keep squirting until it comes out. And boy, did a big chunk of shit come out! It's disgusting. I I have you know floating particles of stuff at work all the time, and so I get pretty bad earwax. Yep. It's fucking gross. You want to talk about my butthole now? <laughs> but more more than I, uh, I'd, the like to, I'd like to. I'd like to let people gun know. Up there too. <laughs> yeah, squirt gun for fun. Yeah, get some caulk and some sure. uh, some sealant around that mm-hmm. thing. Seal that bitch right up. Thank God that I didn't get sealer at my asshole. Because <laughs> that's, that's the thing with me. You may not know this about me. I only work pantless. And I like to do things ass first. Do you shit whenever you walk uh, like uh, that one guy did? Uh, no, I never have oh, yet. <laughs> never say never, Scott. Leave a poop. Yep. Uh, but anyways, all right. But well, we got some sports that happened over this last week. Uh, Fred, chime in whenever you know something about it. I okay. Okay. I'll do my best. All right. I saw one thing. One so, thing. Okay. That I remember. There's okay. Probably more. Okay. Well, if you, whenever I say it or talk about it, jump right on in. Got it. Uh, first things first. Uh, the culmination of the seven or seven hundred home run. Uh, race for Albert Pujols uh, culminated. 
Uh, he hit uh, this it sincerely pissed me off. Even though I'm not the biggest Albert Pujols fan, uh, I really wanted to watch him get that record. And uh, I have uh, Major League Baseball at bat plus where I can watch nearly every single Cardinals game as long as it's not a blackout. Well, this particular game uh, against the Dodgers over the weekend was only on only on Apple Plus TV. Oh, fuck you, motherfuckers! And he was he had two home runs to hit, and he ended up hitting both of those home runs, and not everybody could see it. It sucked, and that pisses me off. But congratulations to him. You know, sure. You think he's on roids? Yes. <laughs> There's not a fucking doubt in my mind. <laughs> I'm the same way. I think he's, he's on. He's yeah. what? 38? Uh, no, 42. 42. Okay, and he's performing <laughs> like he's 27. Right. <laughs> so steroids are probably in the yes. Yeah, he he performs like a 27 year old on steroids. <laughs> right. So yeah, I'm gonna say he's on lots of steroids. Right. He uh, Albert Pujols. His balls don't exist anymore. <laughs> probably not. Albert Pujols and Hank Aaron are the only players to have over 3,000 hits and 700 home runs. That's right. Barry can't even say that. Fuck you, right. Barry. Um, but over the weekend, we also did have some, uh, I don't know, it's disturbing to me, but both Kansas football teams ended up winning. So K-State ended up knocking off Oklahoma in Norman. Uh-huh. Uh, which congratulations to them. Damn right. Yeah. They beat Oklahoma. And I don't know if you know this or not. That's where the wind comes sweeping across the plain. That is uh, raging wheat and still still uh, smells sweet, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, KU. The sun comes falling rain. I'm yeah, like, that's yeah. right. Uh, KU also ended up winning. Who the fuck did they play? Duke. Oh that's God. Right, yeah. And they, so they picked the wrong fucking sport. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a nationally televised game. It should in basketball. Oh uh, God. I don't know which is worse. Do you want K State to beat my Oklahoma Sooners or? Yes. Or have KU to yeah. continue to win? Uh, KU is still inconsequential. <laughs> I, they, they truly are. They they have won some games, which is impressive for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they've beaten nobody of importance. Nobody. No. Uh, K State just beat a national championship contender, number six ranked team in yeah. the country, for the last time in conference play. Uh, you know, Oklahoma's going to the SEC next year. Right. And so uh, I'm really, really happy that they put a chink in the armor as far as their conference championship plans go. Yeah. Um, But other than that, that's the college football stuff. We had a lot of NFL football, and uh, I figured you would love to talk about the Kansas City Chiefs game. I didn't even watch it. You didn't it. even watch I, it? I don't care anymore. Oh, my I God. Really it's don't so care. tough. I, 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 I caught parts of it uh, while I was slipping through channels in the shop. Yeah. Uh, but, no, I really just did not care. I knew that they lost. Uh, I'm neither happy nor sad about that. Mm. Um, it you, really you just it. shows uh, how inconsequential that, that Andy Reid is. Yep. I mean, he's just such a shit coach. Yeah. Uh, shock, shocker of the week, uh, at least for me, was uh, I found that the Jacksonville Jaguars ended up beating the Los Angeles Chargers. Holy shit. That well, was extremely the, the Chiefs kind of needed that. Yeah. To stay a game ahead of them. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, has, is it just me, or is the AFC West a real fucking disappointment? Just uh, all so the way far, around. So far, absolutely. Everybody I was, thought the Raiders were going to be good. They're not. Everybody yeah. thought the Broncos were going to be good. They suck even worse. Uh, that was my question. S- Who's some, worse? The, the Raiders or the Broncos? Oh, the Broncos. I agree. The Broncos 100%. have been so stagnant and unimpressive. I watched part of that game the other night. I guess they wound up winning, what, 11 to 10? Yeah, some bullshit like that. Because of a dumb fucking safety. Uh-huh. But it was... Awful. Uh, just a, a, an awful all-around performance. Mm-hmm. That's a shitty game if that's the final score. Yeah. I mean, both, both guys, Jimmy Garoppolo... Ended up having a terrible game. He ended up uh, accidentally walking into the back of the end zone at the right. very end, which is what the weird score kind of came from. But it was a letdown completely on both, uh, you know, heads of their team, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo and Russell Wilson. Looks like shit. He just doesn't. I mean, it's just hard to watch him. And it's and like he's got talented receivers. Yes, for the like for the first time, the Broncos should, at least on paper, look to be doing and, something. And he's got not. decent backs, too, and, yeah. a, and a good defense. I mean, they, they held San Francisco to 10 points. That's not bad. Yeah. Ugh. You should win that fucking game. 
a one thing that I did notice uh, in the Chiefs game, one thing that I saw right at halftime, yeah, uh, Patrick Mahomes and Eric Bieniemy got into it. Oh, a bit. Uh, Eric Bieniemy would not like let him go for a, a hail mary on third down. Instead, they just ran the ball to run out the clock. Yeah, and Mahomes came over and was pissed off at him. But uh, you remember last year when? Mahomes kind of overrode those guys, and his bravado took over, and he said, I can get it. We don't need to kick a fucking field goal, and it cost him a trip to the Super Bowl. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, really in his best interest to remember that he's not the fucking coach. Yeah, but would you rather him be the head coach or Andy Reid be the head coach? Well, this was Eric Bieniemy calling the plays. Uh, okay. So uh, I, I don't care who the head coach is. Uh, players are always going to want to go for it, and yeah. a lot of times that gets them into fucking trouble. Mm-hmm. That's why the coach is there to be the older, wiser person, mm-hmm. except in Miami's case. That's right. He's uh, the younger, wiser person. Right. Uh, speaking of Miami, Miami uh, ended up uh, winning their game as well. They sure did. God, man, that, that's is that a team that's at the dark horse out of uh, out of the AFC now? They're sure looking like it. I mean, they, they look good. They look really, really good. Do they? I uh, mean, they got dominated that whole fucking game. At the end, though, it was really nice to see. At least they've got, they're not stagnant like they used to be. They actually have capabilities and they have weapons on the outside now that they can use. So, I, I don't see them competing for any kind of championship. I don't either. But it was nice to see that Buffalo is not invincible. Right. Because I thought after those first two weeks that they're just going to bulldoze everybody. Thought the same thing about the Chiefs too, and that's uh, so it was nice to see uh, the uh, Dolphins get their win. Unfortunately, my Lions ended up getting beat by the Minnesota Vikings, so that was not fun to watch. Uh, but the fun fact, like we were kind of briefing on it earlier, they were was, up big at one point. Weren't I they? know the it's just uh, I I don't believe so actually. I think it was kind of a back and forth game for a majority of it. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it is official that the Las Vegas Raiders are the only 0-3 team in the NFL after losing to a pretty lackluster Tennessee Titan team, too. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So this is weird. But I, I think Tennessee is better than people give it credit for. Yeah, I agree. I, uh, I agree. They were last year's number one seed in the AFC. So, yeah. I mean... Uh, there Fuck, is, I don't know. I know. It's just one of those things, man. I, I am excited about this, though. This is uh, – they, they have finally announced that the NFL will be replacing the Pro Bowl. They will not be having a Pro is, Bowl. Was that for real? I saw Fuck, this. I, I believe so. I hope so. At least that was what – I checked my email, and that looks like it's for real. Well, I saw somebody posted it on one of our fucking Facebook pages Fuck, or yeah. something. but. They post a lot of dumb shit. Yeah, so. skills. They're going to have skill competitions for an entire week. I am I would much rather watch that than the bullshit Pro Bowl game. Uh, of course. Yes, I would take that any day of the week. And just like the baseball All-Star game, I would much rather watch more fucking home run contests yeah. and fucking see which pitcher can long toss it the furthest, stand at <laughs> home plate, and who can throw it over the fucking fence yeah. most. I would much rather watch that shit than... The actual game because the game don't mean shit. I get to watch the games the whole fucking season. I want to see what these guys are actually capable of. I agree. I I agree. Fred, do you think you can uh, throw a football 150 yards? I can throw a football over the mountains. <laughs> over the mountains? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> shit. Grab a steak. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anything else uh, of, of worth mentioning, I guess? Is there any games that stood out to you? Uh, I think um, uh, Philadelphia is good. Philadelphia is good. Yeah. They got to be right now about the favorite, don't they? I think out of the NFC, yes, they are. Uh, but eh, they, sh- they just kicked Jaylen the shit. Jalen Hurts is that, fucking impressive. He is going to – as of right now, he looks like he may be having an MVP season. Yep. And uh, good thing I have him as my quarterback. <laughs> Woo! Uh, but other than that, man, obviously you can go and you can look at the scores and the stats and all that shit. I didn't really uh, – I, I didn't really have a whole lot of time today to write this stuff, so I, I just wanted to do the fun stuff. Really? Because this looks very well crafted. It, it's very, very well crafted. It sounds it, too. This, yeah. is, this is top-notch shit. This is our best show ever. No, it's not. But anyways, uh, now we get to move on to the fun stuff, so now uh, Fred can actually participate. But or, he doesn't want to. Yeah, he you don't have to if you don't I mean, want to. I, I, I can sit here and look pretty. It can Fox. be your yeah. choice. What was I'm the one sport that. thing that you remembered? Uh, The Colts? Yeah. Getting, they getting be, punted in the ass. Oh no, that, no, was, that, the, was, that the was the Dolphins. Dolphins. Oh, that was the Dolphins. Yeah, yeah that's I'm, kind of a, a, a mistake. And 
Yeah. Gave Buffalo a chance. Again. <laughs> it kind of did. Yep. I just. Did you hear what Tyreek said? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's a good thing that wasn't me because I would have caught it in my butt cheeks. <laughs> I got I got strong butt cheeks. He I said. Bet he I am liking the fact that they're letting him talk. Uh yeah. He never talked when he was with the Chiefs. Really. Well, he's a fun guy. Yeah. At least when they're winning. Right. I did learn something about sports. What's that? Uh, Barry Sanders uh-huh. is from Wichita. You did not know that? No. He still has a house here. Didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, didn't that's, know. I think that's more for tax purposes. Probably. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but no, that's my only, that's my Lions jersey. Yeah, is, never knew uh, that. Barry Sanders. Okay, but now we get to move on to the fun stuff. Uh, we've got Would You Do It for $10,000. I really started liking these, and uh, this is going to be a tough one, I bet. Uh, self-explanatory, um, and you guys can actually send all of uh, all of your suggestions. You can send those to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Uh, if we see any that we like, we'll uh, give you a shout-out. Uh, so first one, Would You Do It for $10,000? Sing It's Raining Men at a Gay Bar. Fuck No. No? No. Why not? Because I have creativity, and this is like the most cliche fucking thing you could ever do in a gay bar. I know. Just say mean, you don't know the words. This yeah. is right. I do know the words. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it, it's, it is beneath me. Yeah? This would be like me going on stage and telling knock-knock jokes. <laughs> this is such a fucking old, worn-out trope. I don't care. For 10 grand? Well, what would you sing at a gay bar? Yeah, what would you? Instead of that. Elvira. Oh, really? oh, yeah? Yeah, by the Oak Ridge Boys. Okay. I think so. I'd sing all four parts. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I, I would totally do this. It wouldn't bother me at Actually, all. Actually, I'd get JP to do the fucking deep voice on there, it. Yeah, there you go. Get He'd JP to do it. Perfect for that. Yep. How about you, Fred? Oh, I'd do it. Yeah. I probably sure. have done it. <laughs> you probably have. I didn't know you, that about you. You get pretty fucked up sometimes, don't you? <laughs> you don't need to I, I don't know. Oh, I may sometimes. have or not. I would think you'd be <laughs> yeah, doing that. Uh, my best friend years ago was gay. He took me to a few gay bars. Mm-hmm. And it was actually one time, it was my birthday, and I lied. I said, no, it's his birthday. Go, oh. Go, oh, you go sneaky Go help devil. him. You <laughs> sneaky fucking yeah. devil. Yeah. Uh, all right, next one. Would you do it for t- 10K? Go to prison for 30 days. Fuck no. Absolutely not. Not going to. No. 30 are we talking days? Supermax or are we big, talking fucking club right. fed? County no, jail? No, big big boy prison. I want to go to Martha Stewart jail. That's, <laughs> yeah, I would right do that. <laughs> I would do that in a heartbeat. Uh, but no, I am. I am not a very large person, and so I would probably be taken You'd advantage. You'd get turned out. Uh huh. Yep. So big time no for me. Fred, I'd do it. Oh. That's, the, that's the best paying job I'm ever gonna get. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> days to sit, read, <laughs> shank somebody. Yeah. Shit. Oh no, you gotta grand? you gotta work pressing license plates. Or mm-hmm. doing I'll laundry, see. I'll do that. Something. I'll just walk in there, Jeez. punch the biggest guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Start taking shits in the hallway so they just put me in solitary. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> the, it, dude. all the butt sex you can handle. That's yeah. true. How about you, Jeremy? Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah I think so. Really? Yeah. God, I'm, I guess I'm just more terrified of Just the, like the 30 days where your I, wife's decorating for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I come back to a beautifully decorated house and be lovely, and she's still older than me. <laughs> nice. Uh, big time no for me. Now wait a minute. Yeah. Does that mean that I would have to have a felony on my record or just I'm I just I think there. this is just like an undercover going to prison kind oh, of thing. Oh, I'm not going in as cop. No? No, that that will get shot. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> okay. Uh no, I, I it doesn't matter. You would still do it? I'd I go would. sit on my ass for thirty days. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I think I'd get attacked. Uh next one Probably. Yeah. If you open your fucking mouth. Oh, yeah. No, I know, no shit. Uh, next one. Would you do it for 10K? Get locked in a room with a bobcat. Big old Tom, big old bobcat. What else is in the room? Uh, nothing. Just me and the bobcat? You and the bobcat. I don't think so. <laughs> no? Then if he had, if there was like a bed or something in the room that he could hide behind, because a bobcat's natural tendency is going to be to try and hide from you. You are sure. much bigger. Bobcats, a lot of people think of them as like a big cat. They're. Not much bigger than a house cat. True. However, they are wild as fuck. <laughs> yep. And I wouldn't want to be in a room with a pissed off house cat, right. let alone <laughs> a wild fucking animal. And if there's nothing between you and him, it's going to freak out and it's going to come at you like a fucking wild animal. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing you can do. Yeah. This is a big time no for me, too, because uh, I've seen bobcats when they're pissed. And that's, uh, that's, not, a, that's, not, a, that's not a happy kitty. I don't that's believe a, there's a time when they're not pissed. I, <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're pretty uh, pretty mean. We uh, we went to a zoo one time in 
where in the fuck was it? Salina, Kansas, I yeah. think. Uh-huh. And they have a bobcat there. And we had uh, our puppy with us. He yeah. was still a puppy at the time. And the mountain lion fucking stalked that thing. The whole oh, time. really? There was like a big tree branch. And he just watched it the whole fucking time. <laughs> but the bobcat went fucking nuts <laughs> and started running around like on the walls of the cage. Oh, going wow. around and around, just <laughs> just freaking out over our puppy, and our puppy couldn't have given a fuck. <laughs> uh, shit. How, how about you, Fred? I'd do it. What? There's, there's only so much that fucking cat can eat. Oh, shit. It's not I, about eating you. He's going to tear <laughs> chunks off of you. Yes. Yeah, and then he'll go eat it. They ha- no, no, no. He's just going to nah. claw and claw and claw till he can't claw no more. I'd do it. And the, that's like a thing with cats. Cats don't kill to eat. Cats will just fucking kill you you're, just to kill you. You're going to look like you shaved your balls with a beard trimmer <laughs> right. when a fucking bobcat gets done with you Yeah. instead of I'll manscape. Manscape works so well. I, I feel safe telling people. People this I use it on all my testicles. <laughs> all of them? Yep. All of them. Not right. just one. All, all of them. Down and around. Not just select. Oh, Jesus. All, all right. Last, uh, or no, we got two more. Uh, would you do it for 10K? Adopt a five year old. Fuck no. The fuck That's so tough. No, fuck no. I wouldn't do it. If somebody paid me 10, 10 grand to have a kid, I'd say probably not. But no, now you're How taking much? over this. This five-year-old, so he's already got tendencies that you probably don't fucking like, and he's adopted for a reason. Can I resell the kid? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what the current market on Kids? babies go for a lot, but a five-year-old? Yeah, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you're right. He spent some time in the system. Exactly. He's, he probably did that 30 days in prison. He probably, probably did. did, but he didn't have a choice to do it. No, no. He's a hardened criminal at <laughs> right. this point. Yeah, fuck that. Not, not me. No. Jer- Jeremy said no? I'll, I'll do it. You'll do I'll it? I'll do it. What? Why not? I just think this would be such a bad fucking idea. Nah. Yes, it'd be nah. awful. Uh, next or last one. Would you do it for ten k? Watch your spouse have sex with someone else. Now, if he's better looking than me, mm. no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I don't care if he's better looking or not. Fuck no, <laughs> absolutely not. That, that's like. The worst fucking like punishment that you could have. That's torture. Ten grand for two minutes? Nah, nah I just, that, that lasts forever. Jeremy? Been doing it for free for years. Uh, <laughs> See? So might as well. well. I mean, at least I don't have to do it then. <laughs> that's true. Oh, Jesus. That's no fun. Okay. Well, that's uh, what you do it for 10K. Uh, now we get to move on to bad advice. This is when if you guys have any situation that you are in and you want to uh, send it in to us and get the absolute shittiest advice from our one and only Jeremy Joseph so you can send it to us, uh, do that. Uh, because we actually do have one this week. Once I can pull that some bitch up. There it is. Okay. Uh, this week's bad advice is coming from a Brett Mansky, I believe is how you pronounce it. He writes, uh, Jeremy. Not my- Manscaped? Uh, uh, not Brett Manscaped. Manscaped? Manscaped? No. It's not Brett Manscaped. That'd no. be awesome if that was that his would, fucking name. That would be fucking awesome. But He's it's just not. a walking billboard. Right. Uh, but Brett wants to know, he says, Jeremy, my, yeah. my fiance and I are looking to move 30 minutes away from where we currently live, but our foods, or, sorry, but our friends and family are upset that we are moving far away. How do we tell them that a 30-minute drive isn't that far how fucking lazy are your friends and family? Honestly, <laughs> she, I drive forty worthless. minutes once a week to come here, and he doesn't I don't like want it. To. <laughs> I I don't like. It. I'll be honest with you, I don't. But I do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this seems like such a weird fucking thing to bitch about, but whatever. Um, here's what you got to do: you got to wait until the next time you know that all your friends and family are getting together. Then you have to. Uh, call them and let them know that you're going to be a little bit late. All right. You're going to have to get a few of your other friends, not these ones that are bitching. Uh, you're going to have to get an all black tactical gear along with ski masks. You're going to have to launch tear gas into the house and pose as Canadian terrorists. <laughs> so you can disguise your voice and you're going to have to come in and you're going to have to take your family hostage. 
All right. The first thing you're going to have to do, get rid of all the clocks. <laughs> you cannot let them see any of the clocks. Then for the next five hours, you need to put them through the most hellish tortures that you can possibly think of. You know, fucking play mind games, force them to play Russian roulette. You know, the gun's empty. They don't know that. Or, or don't have it be empty. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, really torture your old man, tie him to a chair and watch him, you know, have him watch you like roll up his extension cords the wrong fucking way. <laughs> uh, you know, break all your, you, use your mom's good towels. You could do that, really torture her, but just put them through just awful, horrendous shit. And then after five hours, leave but replace all the clocks, but only move them ahead 30 minutes. <laughs> so you got to, con- and then take off this costume and walk back in as yourself and make them think that only 30 minutes have passed. <laughs> and then they'll tell you this horrible story of this awful shit that could be. And you can be like, well, a 30 minute drive to my house doesn't <laughs> really seem so bad now, does it? <laughs> That's what I do. That's my advice. That's awful, Jeremy. It sure is. That's, That's awful. Fucking... It's not but awful. It's bad. It's but bad. So is a thirty-minute drive. Yeah, um, uh, he's not wrong. Uh, honestly, with my family, that that thirty-minute drive—that's just far enough yeah. to keep them from being over all the time. And honestly, with your family, what parents go to the kids' house? Don't you usually go to your parents' house when you get together? Yeah, that's a good point. But that's actually that's a not a bad drive at all. The no. thirty minutes are like also it's like a wind down time too. Yes, you know, so or just, prep up time. It gives you time to have a few drinks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Got a just little bracer for the because it sounds like your friends and family are fucking yeah. horrible. Fuck yeah! All right, well that was bad advice. So I do uh, appreciate that. I believe uh, Brett. I believe that was his name. What? Yeah, Manscaped. Manscaped. Yep, Brett, Brett Manscaped. Manscaped. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much, Brett. We should sincerely do appreciate you uh, for sending that in. Uh, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Kind of the same thing. Self-explanatory. Is it true or false, basically? Uh, but anyways, uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. I will relieve my wedgie in public and not even think about it. That's horse shit. I'll think about it and I'll still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care. But I'll be like, well, people aren't going to like this, and then reach in my ass and pull out my underpants. <laughs> I, I will do this 100% of the time. Uh-huh. I, I don't think about it because I don't understand that there are people around, and uh, that apparently is is uh, bad uh, manners, I guess, to, to get rid of your wedgie. You Pick know what else seat? is bad manners? What? Giving your wife underwear to wash that's been solidly put <laughs> up your ass crack for longer than it has to be. That's 100% true. That's awful. You get and skid marks. It's really, really, uh, I guess, bad form on their part to rather that you have to go around with that discomfort rather than taking half a second to fucking relieve yourself. Absolutely. How about you, Fred? Oh, man, horse shit. Yeah? I will, I will make a duck around a aisle or something at least. <laughs> you really will? Yep. You will not do it? Nope. Oh, no, my. No, I'll adjust my crotch the whole time, but yep. no, not the butt cheeks. Yeah, do you do, like, the waddle? I'll sometimes, like, kick a leg out. Kick a leg out. Yeah, I'm just trying to, mm, did that get yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, next one. Real shit or horse shit. If there is a mirror in the room during sex, I will watch my performance. Horse shit. That is the last thing I want to say. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. I don't like looking at myself in the mirror, you know, to shave sealer out of my fucking beard. (laughs) The last thing I... I've seen myself naked more than anybody should ever have to. And the last thing I want to do is see myself naked and moving. (laughs) Fuck no. I get a good idea of just how poorly I'm doing that. (laughs) No, this is totally real shit. Who the fuck wouldn't want to see you doing the dirty? Me! (laughs) I wouldn't want to see you or me. (laughs) What about Fred? I'd love to see that. Ooh, (laughs) sure. I'll go get a mirror. Fuck it. How about you, Fred? Uh, To watch my performance? Yeah. Probably not. Really? I mean, I'd I'd look for sure. Oh, yeah. But I think I would be looking more at titties from a different angle. Right. That's that's the whole reason. That's not watching my performance, though. Right. Uh, okay, like, but you, you're looking in the mirror. Yeah, I'm looking in the mirror. You're trying to get a better you angle. You want to see titties. Yeah. And what do titties look like upside down? Yes, that's so, a good question. So, you got to look. Fuck yeah, you got to look. Absolutely. I insist that all the lights be off anyway, so. 
No, oh, I wouldn't be able to see in that's there. That's true, I guess. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. I say jinx when two people say the same thing at the same time. Real shit. Yeah? I, and I still say um, pinch pokey on me a Coke. That's the one I And I want say. a Coke. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. want you to go get I'll, me a Coke. Fucking hold your feet to the fire if, if I do the pinch poke you owe me a mm-hmm. Coke. I, and you got to buy it. It's yep. on you. So uh, this is actually um, bullshit or horseshit for me because I say pinch poke you owe me a Coke. Jeremy? Uh, same thing. Uh, this is horseshit for me because, uh, one, I'm an adult. <laughs> and two, this would mean uh, talking to people. And I don't care to do that. Oh, At just, all. Just At all. Every once in a while. Uh, I'm doing it now, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Drove 40 fucking minutes to do this. Right. Uh, all right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I discipline unruly children even if they're not mine. It's real hard not to smack other I people's know, kids. I know, but would you do real it? Real hard. Would I do it? Yeah, I would love to. Depend. I mean, if they're real, if they're bad enough, but, I would. Yeah. Unfortunately, the law will never be on your side in this one. Yeah. Yeah, but if I get ten k out of it, fuck it. Yeah, but that's not what this is. Yeah. Would this you is discipline saying, the child. Is this something that you do? Uh if I, if I ever did, it would certainly be with a belt. <laughs> I can tell you that. Yeah. Uh Here's the way I look at this is if the kid is going is going absolutely ape shit I'm not I'm not disciplining the child I'm fucking staring a hole through the parents yeah. eyes that's I'm, what I'm, I'm far more likely to say something to the parents Exactly right. like control your fucking child yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I can't tell you how many times it's my favorite thing to yell at when I'm in the car with the windows rolled up. My my wife loves that I yell this whenever like somebody's kid almost runs out in front of us in the parking lot or something, and I just yell at the parents, Control your spawn <laughs> and <laughs> it's just the least personable way yeah. to say anything about a child, just calling them your spawn. Spawn, spawn. of Satan. Satan. What do you, Fred? Uh as far as physically, no, but I do, uh, I do have friends and family that have younger children, and I do threaten to call Santa Claus. Ooh, yeah. To they're not listening to their parents. The parents are trying to be nice because they're not at their house or whatever. Then mm-hmm. you know, say, hey, that doesn't go around my house. I'll call Santa Claus. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, last. But would you ever I, actually call Santa Claus? I got his number. You want it? Yeah, it's on speed dial. Yeah. Oh no, your wife would probably hate me if I. If you would hate me. <laughs> yeah, your wife, I, you whatever. Give, give give her that number. <laughs> uh, let her know, or she can tell him just how many fucking figurines of him he's got. Right. It's fucking uh, creepy. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. My entire week is ruined when the sports team I love loses in embarrassing fashion. So I would say, three and a half years ago, this would be real shit, right? Yeah, but over certainly the, for me. Over the last three and a half years since doing this show, it's changed. It doesn't affect me near as much as it used to. When when Oklahoma lost over this last week, I would be pissed all fucking week long. Well, that's now a I don't pretty care. secondary fandom of yours. You're not. Yeah, that's true. But you like, just kind of glommed onto them. Yeah, but like if the Cardinals or, or the Shockers lose, I would be just devastated. But now I don't care as much. So I, this is uh, this is horseshit for me. Fred, do you even have a team? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Who? Nobody I fucking care about. <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> I've yeah. been a Cowboys fan for as long as I can remember, and I couldn't tell you shit about them. Yeah, no kidding. So, so yeah, horse shit but, for you. Yeah, but I remember you. Mm-hmm. There was a time, you have gotten better for sure, but I remember watching the Shockers game at your house. Oh, yeah. And if they were to lose, we would leave. Yeah. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, I'm done. I don't want to be around him. No. He wouldn't want to hang out with us. He just... Yep, be I'd, a dick. I'd be a dick and I'd pout and oh, I'd bitch. Uh, it's not. It's, it, it wasn't a good thing, but now it doesn't affect me as much. Jeremy, uh, there was a time for sure, and not that long ago, within the last five years, I I have so legitimately had to, like for my own blood pressure's sake, had to step back and detach emotionally from a lot of of sports. I still get angry and pissed, uh, you know. Uh, when I say it ruins my week, fuck the Chiefs lost in the playoffs last year, and I'm still fucking holding a grudge. I still want Andy Reid fired and killed. Um, but how big of how big of the horse has got to be to draw and quarter him? You think? I don't know. 
I like to think that just a draft horse would tire under his weight. Oh, oh, Andy Reid? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. For sure. Yeah, Clydesdale could. No. You'd, you'd, you'd need a team on each limb. Yep. And I sure would wouldn't. pay to see that still. <laughs> but no, I, I cannot let it affect me the way that I did because, yes, it, I would not only would it make my blood pressure skyrocket, but I would then take it home mm-hmm. and or I would be at home and I would take it out on my wife or I mean, I would just be a miserable son of a bitch and I can't do that anymore. Yeah, same. All right, hats real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move. We are moving right along. Good. Damn. Yeah, I know. This is going to be a short I one. I drove 40 fucking minutes for this. You better yeah, make it worth my time. Home. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, we're moving sprightly, so we're going to move on to overrated. How? Or, uh, uh, sprightly? No, that's not the word I was. Uh, swiftly is what I meant to say. Not sprightly. Sprightly is like high or excited and happy. Yeah. As in like a small fairy? <laughs> yeah. Like a water sprite? Yeah. Water sprite? <laughs> yes. Okay, moving on to overrated or underrated again. Uh, guys, if you have any suggestions for these items, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines uh, on our Instagram. Um, first one, we're going to kick off this bad boy with overrated or underrated go karts. Under fucking rated. Yeah, buddy. Wind we've, in your hair. We've done this one before. No, Six we did miles bumper. Yeah. We did bumper cars. No, we've done oh. go karts before. But I'll give my same fucking answer. Okay, all right. But yeah. Fred, go ahead and continue. No, that's it. That's it. Underrated. Uh, underrated. I, I gotta hear this. Underrated as hell. And if you can figure out how to make the like the governor chip thing go away or whatever, those those little fuckers are <laughs> pretty quick. Mm-hmm. So underrated. Jeremy? They are definitely underrated. I don't know why still to this day. I've had access to full-size vehicles for most of my life. I drive cars all the fucking time. You make them smaller, <laughs> and I get fucking excited. And that's that's with anything. A fucking a go-kart, a golf cart, a fucking mini bike. Yeah. Any yep. of it, I, I want on it, and I can't <laughs> fucking wait. I, I know that I've, I've probably brought up my policy about go-kart tracks in the past. Uh-uh. Uh, I'm not leaving until I'm asked to, <laughs> and uh, I I drive that way on this fucking golf cart. There's just shit you can do on those that it's not acceptable in any other aspect of life that you are totally fine doing, and something about the open air usually it just makes it feel so much faster. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I fucking love them. I fucking love them. That is something that's a hundred percent true. You know, if you got if you if you have a jet ski, if you have a jet ski and you're out on the water and you have a speedometer and it says you're going forty five mile an hour, uh-huh. it feels like you're going you're humming like oh, yeah. seventy. Your boots scooting. Yeah, that's right. So fun, fun, fun. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Rock paper scissors. There are decisions that are made because of this. This, mm-hmm. this is underrated Weekly as decisions. hell. Yes, and yeah. it matters. Yeah. It and it it's uh it's binding it, yeah hundred exactly. percent yeah so underrated for me Fred underrated yeah agreed agreed it is a binding contract I beat your ass deal with it mm-hmm. it needs to be used in politics yes court of law yeah. yep oh he beat and you can't yeah. and it, if you lose the first one you can't go best out of three or best out of yeah five. you have to establish that before S- establish it before you can't change. Jeremy, I think this should replace the sudden death overtime rules in football. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, do it. Fuck, all right. The, the coaches have to do it though, or Andy Reid couldn't put the his fucking hands together. Punters, punters. The punters have to do it. Yep. <laughs> it's got to be decided by the punters. <laughs> <laughs> the punters. So on on that, is it one two three show? Oh, yes. Okay. Or okay. is it one no, wait, two no, show? One, one two and then three you show. Uh, See, I, I'm a I'm, I'm a one, four for yeah. I'm, I'm a, four a one four. two three show. Ro- yeah, Roche because nobody Roche. ever catches it on one. Right. Because they're always like, oh, 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 you're going. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said, bitch, we're playing rock, paper, scissors. The fucking crazy thing is. Well, is these are all rules that can be sorted out ahead of time. And if you don't know, like if we were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we need to decide, like I'm used to going on three, you go on four, we can play rock, paper, scissors to decide. That's right. <laughs> Which way we're going. We're, we do. Exactly. Are you a hand tapper? Yeah, I'm a hand tapper. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Not a free thrower? Uh, Andy Reid couldn't I put his hands I can do together. a free throw, but. It's it's kind of like in a in a horse race. I can go with or without a starting gate. Right. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Glad we clarified all that. Yeah. That, this is a this is an informational uh, podcast today. You're damn right. Uh, next one. It's certainly not funny. Right. Next one. That. Overrated or underrated? Laser tag. Legally shooting my friends, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't hurt. Bonus. Just like I mean, underrated. 
Uh, I used the dark. Yeah. You get an army crawl around. Yeah. But oh, yeah. the thing is, is I I used to think this was underrated for the longest time. Now I think it's way fucking overrated. And the main reason why is because of what you just said. Yeah, it's dark and you got lasers, but if you hit the person, it doesn't do anything. That's why it is severely overrated compared to things like paintball, mm -hmm. where those fucking things will hurt. So I'm saying overrated. Okay. Jeremy? Yeah, I remember when laser tag first came out. I mean, the first, like, it, it, it worked so shitty. Yep. It oh, was yeah. so hor You had the little sensor that went on your chest, and if you didn't hit that thing fucking spot on, yeah, I mean, you fucking nailed the guy a thousand times dead to rights, but it didn't kill him because it didn't hit his fucking sensor. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, he gets one, one lucky shot on you. It's so unfair. If it was paintball... That lets you know you hit him all over the fucking place <laughs> and and gave him the fucking bruises to, to match. Absolutely. So, yeah, laser tag can suck my dick. Nah, I don't care. I'll play any of them. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it. I'll play it. <laughs> but it can suck my dick. <laughs> all right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Sneaking alcohol into the movie theater. This is so overrated. I already have to work my ass off to stay awake. Mm -hmm. During a movie, that's all I need. Is especially now they put fucking heated reclining seats in movie theaters. Yeah, they just want you to fall asleep. Yes, so and they serve back. alcohol. Yeah, so, so do now. And I would like I movies are so fucking ridiculously overpriced, and you buy your goddamn tickets online, and they charge you all the convenience fee and all that shit. I want to remember the fucking movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to be drunk for it. I can get drunk after, the or just go to sleep. Right. The fact that they actually make like fake babies so you can look like you have a baby that you were carrying into the theater that you fill with alcohol is ridiculous. This is so overrated. I'm with Jeremy 100% of the time. But uh, so you why would, would you? You would rather that people just think you're a piece of shit <laughs> who brought a, a baby, baby to a movie. To a movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, but here's a fun fact about um, if you bring a ladder to a movie, uh, they let you in for Chances free. Chances are you get in free. You get in free. Yeah. Did you yeah. see that? I did see that. It, it, it is they fucking just hilarious. Like your construction exactly. or maintenance people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they just let you go. They just it's, walk right on in. I, I know that if you wear a sweater and carry a clipboard, you can get into just about anywhere. <laughs> fun facts. Yep. Try it. Uh, how about you, Fred? Uh, college just was underrated. We snuck booze in all the time. Yeah. Now I'm old and I've got a princess bladder. Yeah. So 12 ounces, I got to go. That's so true. I'm not going to interrupt my movie. Yeah. So sneaking snacks in all day. Yeah, they're charging eight all bucks day. for fucking Mike and Ike's. <laughs> What's a goddamn cosmopolitan Exactly. Cost? A, a large tub of popcorn costs like 20 bucks. This is ridiculous. Okay, last one. Overrated or underrated? Having sex in a public place. Having sex in a private place is overrated. <laughs> Honestly, at this point in my life, that's... I don't... I, we, we just talked about it. I don't want to see myself in the mirror, let alone a crowd. <laughs> you never know. People uh, might pay for that. Uh, well, not me. They're not paying know. me. They'll pay whatever fucking amusement park that I went to because you know it's got to be at a fucking amusement park. <laughs> Probably. That's, that's the only place to have public sex. Disney World, actually. Amusement park. Yeah, yeah. Disney World. Uh, that's where I it's wonder, at. Oh, I wonder God. how many people get caught every day. Oh, trying I, something at Disney. World. Yes, at Disney World. One hundred. I, I bet you it is a number so staggering. I bet it's in the hundreds <laughs> every day, and you just never hear about just it. Never know. Oh. Which can I? While we're talking about Disney yeah. World, uh, it's mostly Disneyland, but both Disneyland and Disney World, a big problem that they have are people coming and scattering loved ones' remains. Yeah. Remains. What? That they request that, you know, I, I want my ashes spread in the, the, the happiest place on earth. And so people do it. And they actually have like cleanup protocols and shit for human cremains. Oh, my. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is gross. back to back to having sex in public it, or in a public place. No, it, it is so overrated, and it's not even. I mean, I'm assuming that people do this because if it's like a, it's so risky or something yeah, like I that. Guess, yeah, like fuck that. Just have sex at home. It's much more fun to have it in different rooms around the house. You don't need to go and I don't know. I'm fucking on an elevator, right? Yeah. Like why? That, that, no, just you're, wait you're you really me. just so horny that you, you can't contain can't, yourself you can't to ride wait. up that Otis and <laughs> fucking get to your hotel room. So you could do the life hack that Jeremy talked about. Right. Hold the floor down and the clothes uh, button. I will be honest with you. If I ride on an elevator that's not an Otis, it does make me a little horny because <laughs> I know I'm risking it. it. It's just that fear of death. That might not survive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, geez. there's a far better chance. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, overrated for me. By the way, if anybody's curious, uh, when I die, I want my cremains scattered <laughs> on an Otis elevator. <laughs> the tallest one, the fastest one, yeah, the oldest one, just but, an Otis elevator. <laughs> I want to ride that bad boy for life. <laughs> for life. All right. How about you, Fred? Last one. Over I mean, under. straight up depends. What? Straight up depends. If it's you're almost I, forty, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to Disney World I'm doing it. No, but a park where. There's not people just gathering. Yeah, possibly. No. Are you okay with it? No. There's one person walks by. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I. I. This when, when was weird. the la- When was the last time you had public sex, and where was it at? Uh. Backseats of cars, college softball field. Backseats of cars, not public. Nah, it's not public. That's it's at a public park. <laughs> Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Hood of the car on oh, the was street. It, was it Fenway Park? Because <laughs> otherwise it's not public. Uh, I I actually don't think that they can get you for public lewdness. If oh, you're no? in a car. Really? Because you did at least try to conceal yourself. Okay. Uh, once once I had sex, um, like in the... But they can certainly cite you for loitering. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh, one time uh, I had sex. This is the dumbest fucking thing. Um, outside of our B and D that we were at, um, in Port Aransas, Texas, it's been about five years ago, but instead what of the having fuck se- is a B and D, I'm trying to right, fucking figure B, out B, 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 B and B, 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 same, same letter. <laughs> okay. B and B, B. Mm-hmm. uh, but no, the, it, we were outside in like the fucking like stairwell. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever done. Why wouldn't you just have sex in the in yeah, the room? It's it's right there, bed and breakfast. Yeah, I mean <laughs> no, stairwell. Stairwell. Well, I mean, even still, you have a choice. A bed is an option, and you chose stairwell. <laughs> yeah, it's a not even an thing. Otis. Yeah, not even in an Otis. I get winded walking on stairs, let alone <laughs> fucking on stairs. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that was me being adventurous. Uh, how we, you, you all? We all went right. No, yeah, oh, no, yeah. Jeremy didn't. Oh, as far what? as where? Yeah, where where did you go? Uh, a hotel pool. Oh, see that's oh, okay. that's even dirtier. That's awful. Oh yeah, God. there's been kids piss and all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> now you got Jeremy. Now there's like used Jeremy. condoms. Because <laughs> I'm not taking them away. That's gross. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna throw it away. All right, uh, that is overrated or underrated. <sighs> now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines uh, on Instagram. First question is the worst sign off line you could have on your email. Are you talking like sincerely yours? Yeah. That, that line? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got mine. It's, okay. been, it's been swell, but the swelling's gone down since. That's mine. There's mine. Okay. <laughs> How about you? That was a big lead up. Yeah, I, I, I liked mine. How about you, Fred? I'd probably steal it from uh, Robin Williams. Papier, 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 papier. Piss off, Lou. Lou. <laughs> Love it. Jeremy? Uh, orgasmically yours. <laughs> orgasmically yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you won't do it in public, but you want <laughs> yeah. to send that to your boss? <laughs> Yeah, I'll sign off that way. <laughs> maybe he'll ask. Is that, is that what you said when you left the pool? Maybe he will stop <laughs> asking me to send him fucking emails. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Next question. What's a fact you might find on a Snapple cap? Pretty sure they all say uh, Scotty's the worst podcast host, <laughs> but I don't know if that's the one I would find. Thanks, man. 
Appreciate it. Did you know Scotty is the worst podcast host <laughs> of all time? Thanks, guys. Love you, too. Now you do. Now you do. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... One ex- in four dentists yeah, agree. Absolutely. You got to do the nunnally thing yeah, for listen. it. Listen! Listen! Uh, <laughs> uh, did you know that dolphins always sleep with one eye open? That is true. Yes, I did know that, yeah. actually. Yeah. So that's my fun fact. How about you, Jeremy? Uh you would have to swallow 341 loads of semen to get the same <laughs> amount of protein as a 12-ounce steak. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It sure is. <laughs> so is Snapple. <laughs> Not everything that they make is disgusting. The, ele- is the, el- the Elements drinks, those were awesome. Never had them. Okay, whatever. I don't remember. Uh, next one. What is the name for a really cheap hotel? I've got a real one. This, there is one in, in our town, and it was called the White Glove Hotel. Oh, oh that one. Whoo, buddy. That, uh, that's where you go for a crack deal. No shit. Yeah, yeah the White Glove Hotel, which you wouldn't wear white, white gloves. White anything, <laughs> No, too. you sure yeah. shit wouldn't. You need a fucking hazmat suit to that son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could. They're just going to be really fucking dirty. <laughs> yes, they would. <laughs> it has since been renamed. Funny. Uh, how about you, Fred? Was it renamed to the No Glove Hotel? The No Glove Hotel? No, I can't mm. remember what it is. I don't know any, but the only one that came to my mind was one from back home, uh, mm. the Flamingo Inn. Ooh. Was it painted it, pink? It was painted bright fucking pink. Stood on one of the major intersections and was, what the fuck's a Flamingo Hotel doing in southwest Kansas? I don't know. I have no idea. So, How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the Worst Western. The Worst Western. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like it. All right. Uh, By the way, uh, which is the of, worst, worst of Western. hotels? I still cannot get a fucking room at the Village Inn. No, you can't. I, I have been trying to make reservations. <laughs> isn't that a restaurant? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's a breakfast restaurant. But isn't it also a hotel? No, no, <laughs> you're full of shit. No, but they it's call it not. It. The I'll fact that they call it an inn yes. infuriates me. <laughs> and fucking, so I would love, I call them as frequently as I can trying to reserve a room. Do you really? Do you call them? I have before, That yes. is fucking awesome. We need to do that. And then be like, do you have chicken noodle soup tonight? Because, <laughs> by the way, if you are looking for the best chicken noodle soup in the world, I believe Village Inn has it. Really? Yes. I don't know about that, Jeremy. The Can- fucking Can- noodles are the perfect texture. Campbell's chicken noodle soup oh is my where it's God. at. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's best in a can. I don't give a fuck. To quote John Mulaney, that's like saying, I like lobster and Skittles. <laughs> okay, that fine. That is such I a fucking, told fucking you. opposites of each other. What? I knew I saw I stayed there. The Village Inn in Salina. Uh, actually, they're, they're I made, got, I got too drunk at a hotels. strip club and couldn't drive home, so we had to stay at the fucking Village Inn. <laughs> but they are certainly not associated with the no, fucking No, but that's why my brain was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, perfect. Okay, uh, let's see. Next question. What do you think they called a tiger when they saw it for the first time? Danger zebra. That's uh, mine. Danger zebra. How do yeah. you know it's dangerous? It's danger. Because it's like a fucking bobcat. It's going to fucking attack your ass. How about you? Just like a bobcat. Just like a bobcat. Uh, how about you, Fred? I mean, I'd come, Carl. <laughs> See if he fucking answers. <laughs> yeah. What, what was uh, uh, Shere Khan? Shere Khan was uh, uh, in Jungle yeah. Book. Yeah. Jungle Book, yeah. yeah. How about he you? He was uh, a dick. He was a dick. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I, I think somebody hey, is that a puma? <laughs> and then somebody said, oh, clearly, that is not a puma. <laughs> Look at it. And then they wound up getting fucking eaten. Yeah, yeah that's true. I did. they couldn't fucking decide. So some guy was, some asshole was insistent yeah. that that was a puma. Mm-hmm. You dumb fuck. Yeah, uh, I did not realize, but like in like smaller villages in India where these the there's a lot of wild tar- tigers and people driving like motorcycles around, they will come up and fucking kill a person and eat. Oh them. yeah, it's fucking nuts. It's free in this, food. Holy shit! There's a video that was that came out and it was of, of a tiger barely missing a guy on the back of a motorcycle. Fucking creepy. It's, as hell. it's more of a territorial thing. They actually don't like eating people. Apparently, we taste like shit because all we eat is garbage. Oh, makes sense. Um, yeah. But yeah, most big cat they they got to be like starving. And then they'll eat people. Jesus. that's Bears, funny. on the other hand, love people. Bears don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's right. People and marshmallows. Right. Uh, all right. Last question. Uh, let's see. Why does the Tower of Pisa lean? 
Because it's a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Hangs out with a fat joke. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like that. Uh, I, I had something very, very stupid, and it was that's because your mom's at the top floor. So that's mine. How about you, Fred? That was a good one. I know. I'm, it's I'm glad you shared I, that. I give yourself good. a rim shot, Scotty. Yeah, there you go. Woo! I don't know. I didn't. I couldn't think of anything. I mean, if you're telling her it's straight, mm-hmm. you're full of shit. Ain't yeah. no guy have anything straight. Yeah, that's true. So it's built correctly. Yeah. Or, in, or erectly. Right. I think it's just a natural phenomenon. That's true. Now right. it, it curves downward with a bump in it. <laughs> what is that condition called? I don't know. They, they got some Mormonism? medication now yeah. that, that that takes care of that. Paul Walker hit it with his car. That was the other oh, one. What was that Paul Walker joke? That was a bad one. I don't know. I love Paul Walker jokes. You know, in oh. Superman 3, he straightened it oh, out. Oh, yeah. Did you... Huh? Uh, what? Did you know uh, Paul Walker had dandruff? Uh-uh. Yeah, I found out when I found his head and shoulders in the glove box. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Saw that on the Tiki Talk. Yeah. Hey, hey, don't make fun of Paul Walker. He was my <laughs> hero, guys. <laughs> God dang it. Ever so since nice. I was a little kid, I know I'm 12 now. Right. But he's my hero. Yeah. God, what a dickhead. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week's episode again. Jesus, what's this only been like? Forty five minutes? No, we're no we're the thirty we're, minute drive. We're longer than that. Yeah, thirty minute drive. That's what it is. So right. We got a lot of time to dick around for the rest what, of the show. What, I gotta listen to this on the fucking way home? Are yeah. we streaming live? No. And no. I just have a real slow feed? No, no, not really. Uh, but okay. now we get to uh, move well, thanks. on. You're welcome. Now we get to move on to the uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, last week, I believe, uh, uh, Jeremy won. <laughs> So uh, Von Riker actually came in second, and I, I actually outright won. I believe so. Yeah, I'll be goddamn. Yeah, um, and then uh, I got in dead last, which that uh, makes that makes sense. That's part of the course. Uh, so that means that uh, I get the sandwich picks this week. Jeremy gets the championship picks, and Fred, as the guest, gets first pick. And this week's draft is going to be a wild animal battle royale, all right? So you're in a coliseum. We get to pick five wild animals, and uh, of the five, who is going to win or beat the other person's list, basically, is how this is going to work. Uh, so uh, let's get really creative with this shit, Fred. You get first pick. First pick. I'm going to – I hope I'm coming out strong. I really don't know. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to take the Komodo dragon. Ooh, that's a good one. That's what I thought. I, that, Feisty, venomous. Yeah. Komodo dragon. They're fucking like – their saliva is yeah. really, really venomous. That's yeah. A, yeah. It's full of bacteria. Oh, bacteria. That's right. You were correct, Jeremy. Um, I, I – I think uh, we're just going to go ahead and go back to it. I'm going to get the fucking danger zebra. I'm going to get a tiger. Taking the tigra. Fucking hell yeah. I'm going to take the tiger. Absolutely. Jeremy, you get two. I'm going to go with the the uh, wolverine. God, they're fucking mean. They, they are, are pound for pound the fiercest animal on the planet. No, oh, not the X-Men character? He yes, him too. Oh, okay. You he's, get both? He's a wolverine. I, I didn't know you got both. Okay. Next pick, Jeremy. Are you okay? Seriously. <laughs> no, no, I'm, you are fucking this episode mind, up at every turn. <laughs> mind fog. I, I have it really bad right now. So, but uh, next well, pick, let's Jeremy. Turn on those fucking fog lights. What do you say? Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Um, what do you, Jeremy? I am going to go with, let's say, fuck, I'm going to go with saltwater crocodile. Ah, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good pick, too. All uh, right. Well, that leaves me with one that I really, really want. And uh, I'm going to go with the polar bear because they are fucking dangerous as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think they are actually more dangerous than uh, than the grizzly bear, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, yeah. Cause, well, to people anyway, because yeah, they people. have no instinctive fear of humans. Yeah. So uh, whew, I'm going to go with the polar bear. Freddy, you get two. Twofer. Twofer. Well, I'm going to snatch up the grizzly. Okay. Because 
the one article I quickly read said they are pretty mean. Yes, J- they are. Just above polar bears. So. Oh, uh, okay. Well. To humans, anyways. Okay. There's that article. You wouldn't want to so slap one. Don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to play any bull slap to that one. <laughs> I saw a fucking video of a uh, a guy that was like kind of close to the Arctic, but he was on like a floating uh, piece of glacier ice, but he had like a um, like acrylic uh, reinforced um, like tent thing, mm-hmm. and a polar bear uh, moved on moved in on him from like a mile away. Uh-huh. He could smell flesh that far away. And he was like trying to like claw at this acrylic box that this guy was in. And everybody that was watching the movie was like, oh, he was, he's trying to play. No, he, he's trying to fucking eat no, that guy. No, and this is where, believe it or not, the like Coca-Cola commercials yeah. really fool people into, I mean, they legitimately make people think that they're just they're these just cute, little cute, docile creatures. Soda drinking. This happens with fucking wolves. Yeah. It happens with bears. It happens with all kinds of fucking animals that they're portrayed in movies, cartoons, commercials as these sweet, nice animals and the fucking kill you. fucking deer, <laughs> yeah, deer mean as shit. Deer, a uh, fuck during mating season, a fucking buck will kick the shit out of you <laughs> and wants to. They're yeah, fucking insane. Yep. Uh, you get the next pick there, Fred. Uh, I I think I'm taking a hippo. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Those one. Those fuckers are big, yeah, and powerful. That is true. Which uh, I guess since you guys got you know lizards and shit. Uh, I'm gonna get an anaconda. Is what Isn't I'm gonna. Isn't it my fucking turn? No, it's mine. Well, we're going. We're fu- going. We're going how back. Many fucking turns do you get? No, we're going back the other way. Now you get two in a row. Check. You got brain fog. Check again. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it is because Fred took two, and then I'm in the middle, and then you. I I want to take a kangaroo for its boxing skills. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really got some nice pugilistic skills. It to does. It. Yeah. But. I am going to go with a uh, a gorilla. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a, good a good one. Silverback. A fucking gorilla, Scotty. <laughs> it doesn't matter what color its back is. And it's racist. <laughs> hey. It sure is. Uh, and your next pick there, Jeremy. Silver lives matter, Scotty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, And let's see. Let's go with. God damn it. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I don't know why I'm looking at my phone because I do not have a fucking have list animals of animals pulled up. pulled up. I have my my uh, tragedy for Legos pulled up. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just going off the top of my head. Yeah, uh, I am going to go, and they can't be extinct, right? Right. <sighs> Fuck me. Fighting in a coliseum. In Rome, the, the Roman one. Yeah. Does it? Ha- oh, Jesus right Christ! Next, right next so to the Leaning wanna, Tower of Pisa. If you've taken an American animal, that's nowhere near it. But it, if you took an American animal, they'd be fucking jet lagged. <laughs> so you don't. We'll, we'll give do you a couple that. days. Yeah, we'll give you a couple days. Oh, I didn't know that was in the fucking rules. Yeah. That's, this is what's throwing me yeah, all you're, the fuck out. Oh you're my You're prepping God. for a battle royale. Yeah, dude. Or I'm just Absolutely. gonna throw you in the fucking sheets. Uh, yeah. God damn it. We should have rock paper scissors. Should have. Should have. Um. Let's go with I'm you know what fuck it I'm going to I'm eagle. Uh, an eagle fucker can fly around. Oh, that's a It's going to swoop down. It's going to fucking pluck a goddamn grizzly bear's eyes out. Yeah, okay, fine. That's what it's going to do. Fine. Uh I am going to take kind of a sleeper pick. I'm going to go with a fucking elephant. Oh, that was my Yeah. Like, instead of hippo. What's yep. it going to do? Stand on a ball? Yeah. Balance? They they have the highest percentage kill rate. I'm uh, re- really mm-hmm. wow because they're huge. Yeah. It takes so much to take them down. That's true. They're That's huge. True. And you now get your. Have you, have you tried slapping one on the nose? <laughs> yeah, but it was in a zoo, so I was you know, <laughs> right. Get away. But believe it or not, oddly enough, that trunk is their weak spot. If you touch them anywhere on the trunk, they fall over. What? It's not true at all. <laughs> I, that up. I completely made that up. <laughs> Uh, well, Fred, you get your final two picks. Dude. Uh, final two. Final I think two. I've got to take the black mamba. Okay. And I don't know if I want this the the long slow kill. Yeah. Oh. Well. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, I don't think the slow kill would work. I was gonna go with the tape tapeworm. Yeah, but that yeah that would that would that so. Would, 
We would outlast that. It probably would, yeah. but let's just go with the chupacabra. Chupacabra? That's not a real it's fucking not, animal. That's, that's a real, mythological creature. That's a cryptid. Yeah. That's not a real How animal. do you know? That's not a real animal. You ever because seen one? Because I'm a cryptozoologist. I went to school for that shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yes. And there's money in animals. Yeah. There, there sure is. is. There sure is. Well, son of a bitch, fine. Yeah. I'm surprised there's one out that's still out there. I probably don't know it, but the only other one on my list is the king cobra. Okay, you want to so, do that? I'll do that. Snakes. Two yeah. snakes. And a fucking Komodo dragon. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm taking lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. I'm going to take the lion, king of the jungle. You can have him. He's weak. Uh, he just wear, He just gets tired really quickly. Uh, Jeremy, last pick, dude. I'm going to go with a koala bear. <laughs> just to watch it get torn the fuck up. <laughs> they sound mean as fuck, though. They sure do. They spread chlamydia uh, like a motherfucker. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'll, ne- I'll never forget the uh, the Onion article about that, which, I mean, it is a true fact. They There's like an outbreak of chlamydia in koala, in, uh, koala bears, but uh, the Onion <laughs> article, the headline just read, uh, uh, Koalas are whores. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You're going to take koala. Actually, no, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with the panda for their kung fu. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kung Fu Pie. They do panda. get nunchucks, correct? Yes, they do. All right. 100%. Uh, but no, I've, ta- I've talked about this before, but Australians, they like to uh, fuck around with uh, like visitors of, of uh, other countries, and they call, um, they actually call them drop bears that fall out in, uh, of trees and, and eat you, and they like, like Photoshop pictures of a wet koala, and they look kind of mean mm, and yeah. shit like that. But no, drop bears are fucking yeah. koala bears. They're not going to hurt you. Panda bears are another one of those fucking animals that, thanks to movies and shit, people just think they're cute. Yeah. You know, they're bears. They are bears. They will fucking kill you. <laughs> I mean, they're technically not bears. They're marsupials. But yeah. they have all the tendencies of a fucking bear, and they hate you. That's true. And they And they will get a chair and beat you over the head with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they will. They totally will. Skidoosh. Skidoosh. All right. Uh, well, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the uh, the list that has the, you know, the best animals that would win in a battle royale. Um, and yeah, by uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji. Uh, so what, what were you going to say? You looking at me something. Isn't there a, a website that we could input these in and it would... Ooh. Literally do it. Oh, I right. think we, there is. We can definitely look, look into for one. Yeah, let's yeah. look into we that. Look and into see, that. see what uh, would truly happen. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. If we put a, a rhino in this, when it's all over, would I get the horn for a knife handle? Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Goddamn. Who was the comedian that talked about how he believed in the uh, the Native American uh, tradition of whenever you kill an animal, you have to use the whole thing? And so I killed a polar bear. And I used its jawbone to make a knife handle, and I used the rest of it to have sex with. It. <laughs> oh my, that's disgusting! <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, anyways, again, uh, go to Facebook.com/slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji of the list that you like best of who would win in a battle royale. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, the SS Jianga it was a uh, Chinese passenger steamship way back in the day. And uh, on December 3rd, 1948, it was headed up the Huangpao River <laughs> uh, carrying a load of refugees from the Chinese Civil War. They were fleeing communism as well they should. Uh, while the official capacity of the ship was 1,186, uh, it was carrying well over 4,500 uh, different uh, passengers, crew, Jesus. and stowaways. Um, it uh, was going great as they headed up the river, but after about 50 miles past the mouth of the river, wouldn't you know it, they hit an undetonated mine left there by the Japanese in World War II. <laughs> oh. Kind of fucked the boat up, and uh, it's pretty deep and cold river. 
And uh, rescuers didn't even know about it for the first couple of hours. So while they were able to rescue uh, 700 survivors, 3,920 people perished in that, making it the second deadliest maritime accident ever during peacetime. And uh, now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos! Don't forget your life vest. <laughs> that sucks. It sure does. <laughs> Jesus. Here you're trying to get away. You think you're home free, and wouldn't you know it? A fucking relic of World War II. <laughs> uh, fucking Japanese ruin everything. God, they do. All right. If they make a good, a fine Kobe steak. Yeah. All right. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather have sex with a bobcat locked in the room? Or <laughs> with a girl, yeah. right. or you right. don't have to fuck the bobcat. Right. Fuck. I was, I was like, wait a minute, the bobcat. Uh, or would you rather live in a world where every political decision is decided by rock paper scissors? Shoot! Oh fuck! I don't like this one at all. Well, then why'd you? Go with it. I, I it's just, a shitty situation. It's, it's, you it's can't blame the brain fog on this. You had plenty no. of time to think about no, it. No, no. It's just that's a tough, tough decision. Because um, even when motherfuckers are wrong, they're going to win uh, rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. So 33% of the time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fucking the goddamn... I'm having sex with the bobcat in the room. God, that's going to hurt. <sighs> Not if so, you're on bottom. That yeah yeah true, uh, but how are you, Fred? I mean, I feel like we already do live in that world with political rock paper scissors. Yeah, pretty much. But is there a time limit on how often we can play? Oh no, you know I like, don't know. I like, think uh, if filibuster if where two guys just keep agreeing to do rock all the time, <laughs> all the time, time. <laughs> exactly. Go again, exactly. twelve fucking hours. I think uh. I'd like to see it. <laughs> oh man, this is awful. God, how great would that C-SPAN coverage be? Right. <laughs> well, you can see clearly right there. Uh -huh. He shot rock. Yeah. I can see the strategy he's using. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I, so this so which suck. is it, Fred? I think I'm going to try the political rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. How about you? We'll I, how I'm, I'm going with the politics, too. Uh, at least I'll get half the shit right. And uh, statistically speaking, I mean, they can't fuck everything up. And... Uh, Whereas fucking with a bobcat in the room is going to go bad 100% of the time. 100%. <laughs> There's no scenario where that ends well for you or the bobcat, really. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, there, there's at least a, a, albeit unlikely, a possibility that when with the rock, paper, scissors, that the way you want it to go goes that way every fucking time. That's true. Or the most of the time. Uh, you are guaranteed a bad day <laughs> yeah, with true. fucking with the bobcat. Yeah. And, and that day will continue. Yeah, I still can't do it. I'm, I'm going to survive. You know I will, right, Jeremy? I'm tough, right? As I said last week, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could blast a hole clear through you with a garden hose. <laughs> yeah, you probably could. Uh, but anyways, we uh, that's going to wrap up the show this week. Um, I want to say uh, again, thank you, Fred, for stepping into Derek. Or no problem. Ste stepping in for Derek, not into him. That'd be kind of weird. Um, I've always said that Derek wants a lot of dudes inside him. <laughs> he does. And come back, Derek. I need a week off. That's true. <laughs> uh, but, yes, he should be back uh, next week, so we'll be looking forward to having him okay, back. Okay, well, then I'm, I'm going to give you my notice now. I won't okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Uh, but yes, we do sincerely appreciate Fred stopping by. Uh, you always have an awesome time, or, or we always have an awesome time with you. Uh, but know. yes, yes, we still do have very, very few tickets left. It is less than a month away. The Laughing on the Sidelines live here in Wichita, Kansas. And uh, unlike tonight's show, it will be funny. It will be funny. Uh, we're we're going to make sure it's funny. It's we're we're, we're going to rock, paper, everybody. scissors, see yeah, if it's funny. That's exactly right. We're going to rock, paper, scissors that shit. Yeah, all the material we're going to do, <laughs> we will decide on yeah, rock, rock, paper, paper, Rochambeau. That's right. Uh, but there are still tickets available. Again, it's $10. It's 18 to enter. Um, and uh, all of the money that we make from that is going to go to the venue. And uh, this is a so, weird business decision. 28 to drink. 
Uh, I found that to be weird. You would think you'd want to sell as many drinks as possible, but no. Yeah. They, yeah. If you're 18 to 28, they they don't. That's don't that's, I, that's I'm full of shit. Yeah, on that. somebody lost. Completely full of shit. Right. Yeah. But anyways, this is going to be October the 22nd. That is a Saturday. Uh, doors open at How 4. How many tickets do you think we lost after this show? Oh, uh, man, man. I don't know. Five, probably a couple. This wasn't our finest effort. No, nah, but we had a good time anyways. We it's did. Okay. Yep. Uh, so anyways, uh, tune in next week. Uh, hopefully, Derek will be back. Again, thank you to all of you guys that uh, help uh, share our podcast, comment, and like. That, that helps us out a that lot. That being said, while we all do want Derek back, the reason he's not here is because the wind surge is in the postseason. That's and true. if he's not here, that means they're still in it. That's still right. Doing so good. That's we right. We kind of hope that he doesn't. That's right. And championship game is uh, is is the next or this week. So, championship yeah. series is yep. this week. That's right. Oh, okay. Well, then I hope he's back. Yep. Next week. Then. Exactly. But guys, thank you very very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. And, and as always, we like to say, guys, if you like. Like us, do us a favor, or sorry, <laughs> I can't even do this shit. This is fucking Another ridiculous. One. Anyways, uh, if Are you, you like us, yes, is I'm that pregnant. That I, you I, that bad? I am fucking foggy as shit. No but anyways, shit. if you don't like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you, I can't. But do this again. Yeah, we might <laughs> oh well say bye. Keep laughing, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no, we sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, what do I, what do I say there, Jeremy? Uh, if you like us, tell your friends. That's right. If you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends but if you don't like us I hope you have to eat enough jizz to equal a steak <laughs> if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys they're more than meets the eye <laughs> until next time keep laughing assholes we will see y'all later take care